Hey there, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. If you need a website, then you should definitely check out Squarespace and more on that later. All right, I have a really cool new accessory to share with all of you for your mirrorless cameras if you're looking for a simple and elegant power solution. Big disclaimer up front here, a lot of the stuff I'm gonna be talking about in this video is from Small Rig, which they sent me for testing and reviewing, but they didn't pay me anything to make this video. They don't get to see this video before it goes up. And of course, the opinion about all this stuff is definitely my own. Now, anytime that I find something that I think will be a value for all of you, I get super excited to share it, and that's what I'm doing in this video. So I wanna give you a little bit of a backstory and history with this. So I've made a few camera rig videos for mirrorless cameras over the past year or so, and I think the first one was about a year ago in June 2022, which was right after the R5C came out, and I think a lot of people were looking for solutions to get battery banks and V-mounts and stuff like that on their R5Cs, because as most of us know, the battery life on the R5C is pretty bad. In addition to that, people were looking for USB-C power delivery to get into their R5Cs to enable the 8K60 mode. So what I came up with was this situation here. And this uh, build that I had was as small of a rig as I could come up with with the parts I could find at the time. And a lot of people use this, I got some good feedback. And I think this was, as I said, a year ago, probably the best thing I could come up with in terms of building a really compact rig for a mirrorless camera to put a V-mount on. So let me give you a little bit of tour around this before we talk about the new one and sort of you can understand why I'm why I'm so excited about the new design of uh, the part from Small Rig. So this here is an Arca Swiss adapter, so you can drop your camera in here. So if it has a Arca Swiss plate or cage, you can put that right in here. This is attached to a base plate on the bottom, and this base plate holds these two 15 millimeter rods. The rods are also handy because they can hold other accessories like a follow focus, matte box, or um, lens support, stuff like that if you got longer rods. But the main point of the rods is that they attach in the back to the V-mount plate. And this is where the V-mount battery attaches to. So basically this allowed you to put a mirrorless camera in here and put a V-mount on the back. So let me just show you what that looks like and I'll you know show you around this a little bit more. So first of all, let me take something like this. This is my Canon R8. I have one of my contact Zeiss lenses on here. I love these little guys, they are awesome. So if I mount this in here, now we have a way to attach a V-mount battery to a mirrorless camera. And so let me put a V-mount battery on the back here. And this is what it looks like. So it's pretty compact. Of course, we have a very small lens on here, but we have a pretty small setup here. And the main reason that you would want to have this set up with a V-mount battery or battery bank or something like that is you might wanna have longer run times in your camera. So if you're running cameras like the R5C, like we mentioned, or the R8, which has terrible battery life, you can plug the battery into your camera using a dummy battery or using USB-C power delivery. You can also power accessories like a monitor, follow focus, wireless transmitter, all that kind of stuff. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. Also, it makes the camera heavier, which is helpful when you are shooting handheld because a heavier camera will be more stable. You also have the ability to press this against your chest to get a little bit more stable of a shot, which is really nice. In addition to that, when you start rigging up your camera, it can, it can look more impressive to clients. I know that sounds silly, but it's definitely true, trust me. Uh, but for me personally, I like to keep rigs as small as possible, and that was sort of the motivating factor with this design. There's a couple other things going on with this design. If we loosen the rails on the bottom here, you can see that we can slide the battery back, and this allows us to get the screen open, so we can then slide the battery back in, tighten these up, and now you can shoot like this with the screen open, but if you're using a monitor and you don't need to see the screen, you can tuck this back in here and keep it a little bit more compact. So anyways, this was the original setup. Uh, I had this with a couple different cameras, but let me take this apart and I'll show you the new setup. All right, so before I get on to showing you this new accessory from Small Rig, I do need to take a minute to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Squarespace. If you're a creative, a content creator, or a small business owner, you need a website. Believe me, you really do. Now, I'm really excited to have Squarespace sponsor this video because I've been personally using Squarespace for years. Now, your website can be as simple as a landing spot for people to find your contact information and social media, but it's also a great way to show off your photos, videos, portfolio, artwork, etc. They even let you host videos directly. There is no need to link a YouTube or Vimeo video. It looks a lot more professional and seamless. It's simple to set up a website with their amazing templates. They make it super easy and anyone can do it pretty quickly. They have lots of other cool stuff like the ability to set up an online store, schedule appointments, or have member areas. 
You should definitely head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Josh Satin to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Link in description. So now that you have some of the history and backstory, you'll understand some of my excitement and motivation about this. And this is the new accessory. This is the small rig V-mount plate adapter. This essentially replaces that whole other contraption that I built up of all those other parts. So you can see why I'm so excited about this and how simple this is. And if you compare this against the other one, you'll see the difference in size and complexity. And you probably know which one I'd wanna pick because it is so much more simple. Uh, anyways, let me give you a quick tour around this new accessory here. So first of all, on the bottom, you can see that you have the Arca Swiss mount. So if you have a plate on the bottom of your camera or your camera is in a cage, it will drop right in here. No need to get that other adapter. Of course, on the back, we have our V mount. So we can put our batteries right on the back like we could before. What's on the bottom is really cool because on the bottom we have a built-in Arca Swiss. So you can mount this directly onto a tripod if you're using Arca Swiss, or there are quarter, 20, and three-eighths on the bottom, so you can mount a Manfrotto plate, or you could put a base plate like we had on before, and you can attach rods. You can attach whatever you want, but if you're putting this on an Arca Swiss tripod, uh, you have it built in, ready to go. A couple other things that are neat about this, we still have the ability to slide it back and forth like we did with the other rig. So if I loosen this lever here, you can slide it forwards and backwards. Another really neat thing here is this knob. So if you loosen this knob here, now the plate will pivot. And so we can pivot it back to get it at our screen. But the other cool thing is that we can just pivot it and close it up completely. And now we can throw this in our bag or our case and it takes up like no space whatsoever as opposed to this whole thing, we'd have to hold, take it apart. This one is pretty quick. In addition to that, there is a little pad here that we can protect our camera with. So again, you can see that this basically takes place of all the other things going on with that other rig. So let me throw a camera on here and we'll start talking about how this works. So I got my R8 here like we had before. If we slide this on, you'll see how compact this rig is. This is super tiny. All right, now let me get a little bit larger of a setup. I got my FX3 here with a top handle and I have a cage on the camera and the cage here has Arca Swiss in the bottom. So this will slide right into the plate and lock down. And now we have our V-mount on the back. So we put the V-mount on there. And there you go, there's our setup. So as you can see, also is, it helps balance the rig if you have a big lens on there. And also for me personally, I like it when you're shooting handheld, it adds some weight to it and weight will help it keep, more, keep it more stable. Also, as I said before, you can press against your chest and get another point of contact. Like I was saying before, if you need to adjust this at all, you can loosen this on the side. You can pull the screen out. You can put this back in and tighten it up. Shoot like this if you're shooting handheld, but if you're shooting with a monitor and you don't need access to the screen, you can easily tuck it away, put it back up, and there you go. So as you can see, this is a pretty compact rig, and like I said before, if you're dropping this on a tripod that has Arca Swiss, you can do that. You can drop it right on here, and you are good to go. All right, so you can see how fast you can take this whole thing apart as well. We can pop off the V-mount, release this here, and this slides out, and now we are back to just the camera. So another thing I wanna point out about this system is that it comes with a couple other accessories or parts, and I wanna talk about those briefly. So first of which is that it comes with this. This is a mounting plate to go on the bottom of your camera, so if you already have one, or you just like this one better because it has multiple mounting spots on it. It comes with two, two screws there, and on the bottom it has these safety pins, which are great because if you mount this on here, it won't slide off by accident if it gets loose, so you have to actually press this down to then slide it off. So that's really nice, it comes with that. But one of the coolest things I think that comes with this is this little piece right here, this little triangle. And this is really fascinating to me because what this does is it allows you to attach other accessories onto the back if you're not gonna use a V-mount plate, or V-mount battery. So if you put this on here, so, this goes in the little triangle there, and this has a quarter 20 here. So what you can do with this is you can screw on a different 
power solution, like if you have a, um, a battery adapter or a holder that holds a power bank or anything that you want to mount on the back, you can do that and still have a quick release. So it doesn't necessarily have to be for a battery solution. You can pretty much mount anything on the back of this. So this is a really cool thing that they throw in there and I could just see lots of different possibilities. So I want to take a moment to talk about the battery that I've been showing you throughout this video because I have a few of these and I absolutely love them. This is the 99 watt hour V-mount battery from Small Rig. They have a few different sizes. I think this is the medium size. It's also the largest that you can take on an airplane. So to me personally, that gives you a lot of flexibility. But I want to explain why I love these so much in case you're looking to pick up a V-mount battery. So first of all, I like the way it looks. <laughs> it might sound silly and it's just a brick and it goes on the back of your camera but I think they look really nice and simple and sleek and I, I don't know, I like them. Also, there's a button on the side when you press it, the battery percentage shows up, so that's really handy. But the biggest thing I love about these is the flexibility and the ports that are on this camera, I'm telling this battery. So over here, you can see all the different ports. We have USB-A, USB-C, we also have two DC barrel connections, and we also have DTAP over here. And the reason why the USB-C ports are so awesome, obviously you can power your cameras, USB-C power delivery, but it allows you so much more flexibility because you can power other devices, like you can charge your cell phone, your gimbal, your tablet, maybe your kid's tablet. <laughs> I've taken these on a couple family vacations and everyone was charging their devices off of them, so they come in really, really handy. Also, because they have USB on them, you can charge them via USB, so you don't need to have a DTAP charger, which can be expensive. And also, if you're out somewhere and you just need to top up your battery, you can use a USB charger. So. I absolutely love these. I recommend picking them up for lots of different things. And so there will be links down in the description for all the stuff I mentioned throughout this video. And I'll be making some more rig videos coming up, probably something soon about the R8 because there's also some other cool products that Small Rig sent me that I'm really excited to share with all of you. And so look out for that video. Big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please hit subscribe down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. We'll see you in the next one.